Joy Reid takes issue with Louisiana's decision to mandate the display of the Ten Commandments in public schools. She highlights the paradox of those who resist the pride flag in classrooms, yet advocate for religious symbols and questions the historical connections between Moses and Christianity. Yeah, and you know, and it is ironic to me that these are the same people who will make the argument that a pride flag in a classroom is indoctrination, but they don't think the Ten Commandments is indoctrination. Do you? I mean, I see some irony there. Um, yes, indeed. I was just on a conservative talk show where they made that exact argument, and there is no separation of flags in state. There is no separation of sexuality in state. There's a separation of church, of church and state, That's and it correct. protects religious freedom for all of us. Yeah, absolutely. And I hate to break it to folks, but Moses was not a Christian. That religion did not exist. He was Jewish. And so it's the Torah that you want to be displaying if that's where you want to go with this. But that's not supposed to be in school either. <laughs> You're supposed to learn to read. Uh, the decision to display the Ten Commandments is seen by many as a testament to our Judeo-Christian heritage and a cornerstone of our moral foundation. Including these religious symbols in public schools is viewed as a way to uphold traditional values, instill a sense of morality, and foster ethical principles in our students. For many, Joy Reid's criticism feels like a direct attack on these cherished values, a move to further secularize our public institutions and undermine the moral fabric of our society. To many, the Ten Commandments represent more than religious doctrine. They are a culturally and historically significant text that has shaped Western, legal, and moral systems. Displaying them in schools is seen as a vital part of educating students about this important legacy. Reed's assertion about Moses not being Christian might miss the broader cultural significance that the public places on this text, viewing it as an essential part of our shared heritage.